This video is going to be covering the brands in the menswear category on eBay that are in the highest demand right now as of the past couple weeks. These are the ones that are in such extreme demand. It doesn't matter what you find from them. As long as it's in reasonably sale-worthy condition, you will be able to flip it. The first one is Bad Birdie. I've found this zero times, but it's come up on the channel a lot simply because the sell-through rate is astronomical. The entire brand is right now at 867% sell-through. The way I calculate sell-through, by the way, is I divide the number of solds by the number of actives, multiply by 100 to get a percentage. There are other ways to calculate sell-through, but that's how I choose to do it. And that's in used condition. It's a golf brand and absolutely anything that you find, Bad Birdie will flip. Their polo shirts are, I think, what's in the most demand and they tend to be really colorful, have all over prints and they routinely sell for 50 bucks and up used. The second brand you should know about is Bird Dogs. They make shorts, mostly swim shorts. They are again pretty rare, but the demand is simply unreal. They are at 351% sell through right now. So anything that you find Bird Dogs will flip and even used shorts will flip for good money. The third one is very close. It is called Birdwell Beach Britches. I've never found this brand. It's in even higher demand than Bird Dogs, about twice as much, at 753% sell through for the whole brand. They also do swimwear stuff and it sells for good money. Again, anything that you find, Birdwell Beach Britches, or simply Birdwell, I would assume, I would pick up. This next brand I have found a number of times. It's built with a Y, B-Y-L-T. They do upscale workout clothing slash athleisure wear. And I find them maybe once every three months or so. Of course, I live in California where the thrift stores are abundant with this kind of stuff. But uh, it's a great brand and a great seller. I do pass on stuff that has really bad flaws, like if it's got caked up armpits or something like that, I would pass on it. But basic t-shirts sell for well over 25 bucks used and they sell almost right away. I had a couple up for 24 hours. One buyer came along, bundled them together and bought them uh, after only being live for one day. So anything built, I would just jump on it. It's 383% sell through right now. I'm getting all of this information from the menswear manifesto. That is a list of 269 men's clothing brands broken down by sell-through rate. So there are lots of other brands not included in this video that are over 300% sell-through, are a little less common than these, and tons more that are over 100% and others that are sub 100% but are worth good money. And each brand in the manifesto is broken down by sell-through rate in terms of the categories within that brand. So you can take a look at a glance at a brand and tell exactly what is selling and what isn't selling, at least what isn't selling quickly in the brand. So it's available for free slash pay what you want if it's something that you think you'll get value out of or if you use it and you do get value out of it if it makes you money. I ask that you consider donating something either up front or circle back around and buy me a coffee later. And there's a link to the manifesto in the description to this video. The next one is Chrome Industries, which is at exactly 300% sell through. And I think they're best known for jeans, but they have the whole lineup. They have pants, shorts, jackets, and all of those are worth quite a bit of money. Anything that you find, Chrome Industries is going to flip. Dixon, D-I-X-X-O-N. I have found, I think once, I have a friend who used to find it quite a bit actually and the flannels flip for like 50 bucks and up, the flannel shirts. Anything Dixon is great money. It's outrageously overpriced. Anything that you find Dixon with two X's is going to be a great seller. And it's 386% sell through right now for the whole brand. This is a brand I actually just learned about because I found one of their t-shirts in a Goodwill. It was a bamboo shirt and it flipped for I think 25 bucks almost right away. It's Free Fly, which is at 538% sell through for the whole brand. They do a lot of bamboo clothing and it looks like nothing at all. Uh, when you see it on the rack, it just looked like a basic t-shirt unadorned with anything. There was a little logo on the hem and sold right away. The brand doesn't really sell for all that much 
money, like the, the ceiling is, is a little bit lower than some of the other brands in terms of what you can hope to get out of it, but still it's a brand I'm gonna be picking up if and when I ever find it again. This one's interesting. It was in the previous manifesto and the sell-through shot way up. It's at 400% sell-through right now. Go Ruck, they do kind of tactical outdoor gear. I don't know that much about the brand. I just know that it's really expensive and it is in crazy, crazy high demand. Tactical clothing, like outdoor clothing, has seen a boon in demand over the course of the past year. Howler Brothers or Howler Bros is a good brand. I actually find it fairly frequently in comparison to a lot of these brands. Really anything Howler Bros is gonna do well. What you're really looking for are their Pearl Snap shirts. They have embroidered kind of Western shirts and those sell for excellent money, but anything Howler Bros, just unconditionally, I would buy it. Huck is another brand that I actually do find quite a bit. It's a fishing brand, so you're not gonna get a whole lot of money for Huck, you're probably gonna get 20 to 30 bucks for a shirt, but it's in really high demand because it's popular with bass fishermen and it's also popular with saltwater guys and or girls. And uh, it's just kind of a no brainer. If you can get it for reasonably cheap, I would just buy it regardless of what it is it's gonna sell. And Huck is at 407% sell through. Pelagic, I adore. One of my favorite brands. And I think I'm a little bit fortunate living in San Diego in that I find it a lot. And it's at 426% sell through. The board shorts have been selling exceptionally well for me, but everything Pelagic is in demand. And in my experience, it's been in demand. It should continue to be in demand even going into the colder weather months, just because it's such a beloved brand by fishermen, fisherwomen again. So they do some graphic shorts and graphic uh, tops that are really valuable, kind of fishing themed. You'll see fish scales, or uh, I found a t-shirt once that looks like the readout on a sonar on a boat, a fishing boat with fish in the water. And everything I've gotten Pelagic has sold for slightly above average money and it's sold almost right away. If you price it reasonably, it'll be out the door. And it's 426% sell through right now. Another brand that I've been lucky enough to find twice so far since learning about it, it's Rafa, R-A-P-H-A. -A. They do cycling stuff that often winds up in the shirt section. I find these knit polo shirts with two pockets that are excellent sellers. Anything Rafa, just pick it up. It's worth good money and the demand is pretty outrageous. It's 550% sell through right now. Ryan Michaels is an interesting brand. They only make one thing. They make Western shirts, button up shirts. And if you find them, they're in super high demand, 403% sell through. Um, they make a few leather shirts or shirts with strange fabrics or really ostentatious designs and those are worth more, but they are worth some pretty good money. Scotty Cameron, I have found before. It's an upscale golf brand and they do a lot of collaboration clothing. Um, I think I found a Peter Millar polo shirt and I think they do collaboration pieces with Titleist as well. But if you find Scotty Cameron embroidered on anything, as long as it's authentic, you should pick it up and flip it because some of it's worth insane money. That Scotty Cameron polo that I found, I think sold for over 70 bucks. Just a basic performance polo. Scotty Cameron is at 310% sell through and the average sales price for most Scotty Cameron stuff is way, way, way above average for comparative pieces from other golf brands. This next one I actually learned about from viewers. Multiple people recommended it to me. It's Triple Aunt Design or TAD, TAD. They do tactical stuff that's worth head and shoulders above something like a 511 tactical. It's just insanely expensive. 325% sell through for the whole brands. I would say just a blanket statement, if you happen to find it, I would get it. The next brand I have, again, been really fortunate to find multiple times, it's Viore. They do upscale athleisure clothing, primarily sweatpants with some tops and sweaters and it's all just phenomenally good sellers. 888% um, sell through on Viore. It's been strong throughout the whole pandemic. If you find anything that I mentioned, and if you find shorts, 
really if you find anything at all and you don't price it exorbitantly high it will flip and you should be able to sell pieces easily for more than $40 even in used condition.